All right. So that was a big ass fucking bomb laid upon my lap. Let, let, let's let's hang around here and just talk. What are you working on? Lots of different stuff. If you're going into the field, we need a way to keep tabs on you and stay in touch. Hacking into local security systems won't cut it. Thanks. For what? I don't know. Everything. You sacrificed a lot for me. You and Sean both. I mean, you upgraded the Animus, you helped train me, pulled me out of that coma. You put all that work into the database and helped me solve Clay's puzzles. I know I haven't been the easiest person to work with, and I'm sorry for that. I just want you to know that even if I'm shitty at showing it, I appreciate everything you've done. All right. Said all that nice shit. Man, you know what? Um, I, I forget which uh, uh, Assassin's Creed it was. I want to say it was either one or two. No, not one. But uh, it's definitely not one. It was either two or uh, Revelations that uh, we had that blind chick running around. What the fuck is that? Doc, did you see that? What? Did you? Hold on, hold the fuck on. That chick was standing right over there. Did you? I know you seen that. I know I'm not fucking tripping. She was standing right over there, like right here, where I'm standing at, right here. Okay, I'm okay. I'm going to calm the fuck down now. Calm the fuck down. There she is again. I, who the fuck is that? Okay. Is there places I can go here? Huh. What the fuck? What the fuck is this? we could be saved we sought to face the sun's wrath and contain it four towers would be built to pull her fury into this place and dispel it oh wow but even with all we knew with all we had it would take too long a thousand years we could labor and still the work would not be done The first tower was never completed. The project abandoned. We moved on. Oh, damn. But while we labored on other endeavors, a few returned. They thought to automate the process. Metal might finish what flesh could not. And what happened there? Okay, that was fucking weird. So, I wonder if I keep on running around here, will I find other little special, uh, little conversations with old girl? Huh. Doesn't look like that, though. I fell. Doesn't look like there's anything else over here. Oh, wait. I wasn't down here, was I? It's talking about four towers and shit. Doesn't seem like I can do anything else, so I'll... I'll head back. I'm completely lost, though. I don't know where the fuck I need to be going. Hold on. Ah, there we are. Is there anywhere else I can go? Let's run around. Let, let's explore this place a little bit. Uh, 
Oh, I do not see shit. Yeah. Uh, oh, hello. Hello. Ah. Alright, well, I guess I can't hit there. But there's a lot more to this place than meets the eye. Uh, let's check all the way up here before we head back into the uh, Animus. I want to talk to dear old dad at last. Would you look at that? What is it? If I had to guess, I would say it's a counter. And judging from the iconography, I think it's safe to say when that's emptied, the end begins. Hello, Desmond. How's things? Same old. Another day, another ancestor. Yep. Who'd have thought you'd have a Templar in your family tree? I think he started out as an assassin. They must have turned him. Right you are, in fact. I've been reviewing our archives, and it appears that Haytham's father was indeed an assassin. Which means he was likely one too, at least for a little while. What else did you find? That fellow from the opera, Reginald Birch, Grand Master of the London Chapter of Templars. He and Haytham's father, a man named Edward, they were long-time rivals. Now, it appears Birch got his hands on Haytham at a rather young age. Worked his wiles to convince Haytham to switch sides. Wonder how he did it. I'll see if I can't dig up more. Hmm. So Haytham was originally assassin. That's why he had the... <clears throat> the thing on his hand. I felt talking to him. Um... You know what? Oh, see, I'm over here jumping gaps and shit. Man, he just walks over. Yeah, whatever. Uh, I'll talk to Dad. Yes? Just thought I'd, you know, say hi. You have more important things to do right now. Jesus, Dad. What? What do you want me to say? I don't know. Hi, son. How are you? What have you been up to? I know what you've been up to. Nothing. You wasted away in some shitty apartment with a pointless job, while the rest of us were out there fighting to make a difference. <laughs> you are such an asshole. Mm. Are you thinking about hitting me again? Because this time, I will hit back. Well, that's a father-son bonding moment for you. You know what? All right, we're done. Let's head into the fucking animus where... Creepy chick is apparently is gonna be standing over me watching me. Uh, yeah, that that makes me feel a whole lot better. All right, here goes. Time passed, a child grew near me, and then he entered the world. He had his father's feature, but enough of me that he did not appear a stranger. In the end, it mattered little. My people loved him as their own. I miss Nathan sometimes. He may have even loved me in his own way but his eyes his eyes were fixed upon a feature one in which he and the templars spread control all uh my greatest fear is that one day he shall look on his own son's face and see a dark hun the dark hunger there i think i got most of that right i might have missed a word or two Session four. Good time to stop.